Now, uh, this morning, Governor Greg Abbott is igniting a debate online with the controversial pardon plan just hours after a murder conviction. Well, the governor says he will pardon Sergeant Daniel Perry as soon as the paperwork hits his desk. He was found guilty Friday for the shooting death of Garrett Foster of Plano during a Black Lives Matter protest in Austin in 2020. Now, Chris Sadegui is with us this morning. Yeah, Chris Perry hasn't even been sentenced just yet, Chris. That's right, Bashar. The whole process has not even played out, but the Texas governor cannot grant a pardon in a criminal court case. Still, Governor Greg Abbott's pressure to overturn this jury verdict is stepping out of bounds, according to critics. The governor tweeted Saturday he is working as swiftly as law allows to pardon Daniel Perry by requesting the parole board expedite the review of his case. Now, the governor does appoint the members of the parole board. Abbott added he has already prioritized reining in rogue district attorneys. On Friday, a Travis County jury convicted Daniel Perry of murder for the 2020 shooting of Garrett Foster. It happened in Austin during a Black Lives Matter protest. Perry was a rideshare driver who just dropped off a customer downtown where the protests were happening. And testimony said he was surrounded by demonstrators, including Foster, who was holding a rifle. Attorneys for Perry say Foster pointed it at Perry's car and that Perry fired in self-defense. However, evidence at trial includes text and social media posts that Perry made where he talked about shooting and killing protesters. We're hearing from attorneys and legal experts who say the governor's push for a pardon is not only unprecedented, but motivated by politics. What Governor Abbott has proposed is unheard of in the history of Texas law. People have to recognize this is a political issue. This is a political turf war between Jose Garza, the district attorney, and the governor and the legislature. And Travis County DA Jose Garza did release a statement calling Abbott's interference troubling and said in our legal system, a jury gets to decide guilt or innocence, not the governor. And ironically, as we mentioned, Perry has not even been sentenced yet. Kara, back to you. All right, Kara. Thank you, Chris, for the insight. Our partners at the Texas Tribune report Governor Abbott granted two pardons last year, eight in 2021 and seven the year before. Now, all of those involved lower level offenses like a theft, stealing a car and credit card abuse.